What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome back to the Liverpool Carrier Road Show with a brand new episode and we have a huge game coming up in the Premier League. So here it is, a Premier League Tottenham against Liverpool. This is the first like really really titanic big game and as you can see Tottenham are ahead of us in the table. We are third, they are in fourth place, sorry, they are in second place. So it's vital that we win this game. Guys, thank you so much for your awesome support. And if you want to see more episodes, all you need to do is get this video to 200 likes. This will be my team. I think our strongest possible lineup and I'm playing on ultimate difficulty. This is going to be a really, really tough game. And let me know in the comments below what kind of uh, career mode tips and what kind of uh, tutorials do you want to see on FIFA 19 for, because from tomorrow I want to do more informational videos. Welcome to the brand new Tottenham Stadium. This is actually the first time that I'm seeing this stadium in the game. This is the new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and it's not even open to the public in real life but already on FIFA you can see the brand new stadium so I think this is an awesome addition in the Premier League and the Tottenham fans must be looking forward to this because the, uh, the stadium looks stunning and Harry Kane is in red hot form. Can we stop him? On ultimate difficulty it will be brutally hard. So I got the full game today, the FIFA 19 uh, Champions Edition on the PlayStation 4. So I transferred everything and I they redid all the transfers in and out that we did in the summer transfer window in this career mode. And also I downloaded of course the latest squads. So we have some new players in our squad which I will show for example Callagher. Ooh Alisson well done. Tottenham start really dangerously here. Go on. Oh my goodness. Vinadum! Please! Vinadum! You stole it! Oh my goodness! George, you Vinadum! The composure! The composure that he had in front of goal was magnificent! A brilliant through ball and here I thought that from that position I wouldn't be able to score and then Wijnaldum holds off Davinson Sanchez just at the last minute he scores, shoots and it goes in brilliant goal by Wijnaldum got in there guys go on Van Dijk brilliant and oh Salah is in I think go on Salah he just has too much pace oh I couldn't pick out the guy in the middle, the passes in the box are not as effective. Come on, we are playing so well. Robertson bombing down the wing. Go on, Mane, make the run. Get him, Mane. You know what, let's try a cross. And Salah is there! Go on, Mane. Beautiful pass. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Robertson. Salah and Firmino and Mane. Oh my goodness, that was so close to 2 0. Oh my goodness, please, Mane. Be, be, tell me you're on side, bro. Mane. Oh my goodness, I should have shot earlier. I just I thought I needed to go closer to the goal. Please just had it home. Nice. Good work. So far, defensively, we are a lot more solid, guys. Navigator. Navigator gets it back. Have a dig, why not? Ooh, good shot. And money! No. Oh, no, 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 no. Pavon. <laughs> ah, you can shoot like that. The Tottenham's new signing. And we are restricting Tottenham to half chances. Come on. Oh, beautiful. Money! Bang! Ah, straight at the keeper. Come on. Hummingson. Ooh, I couldn't even take him out. Oh no, Dele Alli. What a defensive interception, but... Harry Kane. Oh my word. 
15 minutes left. I don't want to go like uh, ultra defensive, just def just on defensive. So let's bring on uh, some uh, defensive players. I think I will keep uh, Salah on the pitch. Uh, let's let's bring on Vinicius Junior on the left side. You know what? Let's put him up front. Maybe he can uh, do some damage there. And also Naby Keita is very tired. Let's bring on Jordan Henderson. That's a defensive substitution. And Joe Gomez to bring fresh legs for Alexander Arnold. Oh, this is beautiful play. Femino. Oh, lucky I couldn't. Oh boy. Tottenham are really piling on the pressure here. Great defensive work by Fabinho. Oh, maybe I should have picked out Salah. Here we go. Salah. Come on, Mane! Unbelievable. Hugo Lloris. How on earth did he do that? That is a stunning save, honestly. I can't believe we have won this, guys. We scored in the fifth minute after that. You know, we created multiple chances and we restricted Tottenham to very few chances. But Van Dijk was outstanding in this game. Absolutely brilliant. And as you can see, Tottenham didn't have a shot on target. I think defensively we did so, so well. And we kept the ball for the majority of the game. Nine shots, seven on target. Thoroughly deserved this win. Wijnaldum with the goal and Mohamed Salah was the man of the match interestingly he got an assist but I think defensively we did really well I think this is the best that I've played against the ultimate AI our first Champions League game and I look at the menus it's just looking fantastic really really awesome Kaleher is in the squad when I transferred to the PlayStation 4, I did the squad update, of course, before starting this career mode. And Kelleher was a brand new player created by EA, which wasn't in the first update. We are still not top of the league because it's Chelsea who are at the moment dominating the Premier League. But I think they dropped points because they had a perfect record. Most of the big teams are doing really well. As you can see, Chelsea, Man City, Tottenham, Arsenal. The only team missing is uh, probably Manchester United, but they are in 11th place and they are climbing the table. They just recently won, won against Watford. What a huge game this is. Liverpool against Paris Saint-Germain. On ultimate difficulty, I'm really nervous about this. I make just two changes, Klein and the Oct coming in because I want to play my strongest possible lineup against PSG. Let's watch. Anfield on a European night in the Champions League. This is going to be such a such a special game. I love the Champions League layout. I love this competition. Every single day I tune into this and uh, Liverpool already beat Paris Saint-Germain in a dramatic game 3-2. In with the last minute winner against Firmino, but I wonder what kind of team Paris Saint-Germain will have. I already see that they have Cavani, Neymar and Mbappe up front, so as expected they go with their strongest possible attack. with football fans the world over, whether Liverpool supporters or not, this is Anfield. Well, it is, and that is the cop behind the goal, probably one of the most famous, iconic stands in world football. Let's take a look at the Liverpool's... The You Will Never, never Walk Alone song is ringing round Anfield, and I'm just so so happy that Liverpool are now one of the big boys in the Champions League so let's see do we have any unusual names in the Paris Saint-Germain lineup Di Maria only on the bench Diara, Draxler and Ferrati interesting midfield Cavani, Mbappe and Neymar Jr. Oh get back oh Neymar is through no, don't leave the ball there! Draxler, he will score that. No way. Paris Saint-Germain take the lead. And I tackled Neymar, but Matip, for some reason, just left the ball there. 
Oh, that is unlucky. Brilliant skills by Neymar and drops there from like 11 yards out. He will always score that. Good finish. Alisson, I can't blame him. He was one on one with Rockstar basically. Come on. Come on, Oxley Chamberlain! Wow, Buffon is 88 rated on FIFA 19, so it will be very, very difficult to, uh, you know, break him down. Oh my goodness, what a pass. Great tackle, Klein. Oh, that was fantastic. Oh no, Mbappé! Oh, great block. Alisson, Alisson! No! Oh my goodness, Alisson! Gives away a penalty! Oh, this is going from bad to worse. Thought he could grab the ball, but instead he takes out Mbappé. Oh, where will he go? On FIFA 18, usually they went to the right. Let's try it. Yes! Alisson saves it! Come on! Let's go! The goalkeeper redeems himself. What a save. Cavani doesn't score that. We didn't want to go 2 0 down. But let's try and defend the corner. Oh, wow. Ferrati. No! Okay. Okay. They missed it. Thankfully, it fell to Lassana Diara with a defensive midfielder. Salah. To Oxley Chamberlain. Hit it. And. Femino! Unlucky! Oh! Oh! Salah has to finish it! Oh my goodness, I hesitated for one half of a second. An ultimate difficulty, you can't hesitate. Oh my god, oh my god, I pressed the wrong button. What have I done? I was clean through with the Ox who has great pace. And I, I press pass instead of just running with him. What the hell? Paris Saint-Germain make two substitutions before half time. Like why? So you're telling me the AI brought on Chupo Moting to be a defensive midfielder when he's a striker. I mean, maybe Neymar got injured, but Ferrati, I don't think he got injured in this one. Why, did, why would you bring on a striker instead of a defensive midfielder in defensive midfield? That's just incredible. Oh my god. Jesse Rodriguez! No, 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 no. Oh, wow. I need to cover the middle. Cavani, <laughs> what on earth? How, how selfish and greedy can you be to shoot from there? Oh no. Lasana Diara. Oh my god, get there. Oh no. Droxler to Cavani. Oh my goodness, what a finish. What a finish. It looks like Paris Saint-Germain will win this game. They are just more clinical than me. We had the chances. I almost stole the ball there with Alex Oste-Chamberlain. And here, you know, Alisson, I can't fault, fault him for this one because he was just one-on-one -on -one with Cavani, exposed. Please, please, Salah. Go on. No! Oh my days! What on earth was that? It's not a shot, it's not a pass, it was like in between. Go on! Has to be! No! Femino! I can't believe it! Just, I can't break down Buffon. This was the first real like super team that we have played but I felt that I had the opportunities. My biggest regret is when I messed up that attack when I was clean through on goal with Alex Oxley Chamberlain but Buffon is such a great goalkeeper. We even saved a penalty from Paris Saint-Germain so I can't really deny it. they deserve to win this game and I just need to improve and play better and get, get better chances. The great news is that just like in real life, Napoli played out a nil-nil draw with the Serbian club Dinamo Zagreb. Uh, Red Star Belgrade are not on FIFA 19, so I couldn't include them in this group. 
but let's actually uh, check out uh, the other groups and it's so easy to scroll through the groups this time and I love it that you can see the results plus the group stages standings as well so Tottenham have beaten Inter, Barcelona only just got past PSV Eindhoven so no surprises here but this is a big one Monaco have beaten Atletico Madrid that's a big big shock as well Schalke are the front runners uh, Schalke is the front runner in this one and uh, amazingly Bayern Munich lost to Benfica 2-0 what on earth how did that happen I still expect Bayern to go through from this one Hoffenheim and Man City uh, won their first games uh, in this group so no surprises here Pilsen with a big win against CSKA and Real Madrid have beaten Roma just like in real life and uh, Valencia Juventus played out a 2-2 draw just like Young Boys and Man United so it's all square in this one I think the key will be can we beat Napoli home and away but Napoli in failing to beat Dinamo Zagreb is just the perfect result for us I'm so happy for that so here is the brand new player Kelleher I'm training him he started off as a 58 rated goalkeeper now he's a 62 rated goalkeeper and his potential is about 77 or 78 or something like that so I think it's worth keeping him and you know try try to tra train him up another new player is Virtue Thick who is a 59 rated CDM but he has a pretty decent potential as well so I will try to keep him in the squad as well so this these players were added after their latest squad update so this is why it was good that we actually transferred the carrier mode to PlayStation 4 because now we have two brand new young players in the Liverpool squad which I think is brilliant I also wanted to show you the biggest transfers because I haven't shown you this after you know transfer deadline days so Bilinkovic Savic went to Barcelona for 61 million Rodrigo went to Atletico Madrid that's quite a realistic transfer Sergio Roberto went to Bayern I can see these transfers happening and Vinicius Jr is the fourth biggest transfer and uh, no wonder he scored uh, four goals already in uh, competitive games but I think the biggest one that will have a huge effect on the Premier League is that Karim Benzema signed for Manchester United so now they have Lukaku and Benzema in the squad and I wonder who will play most games Kingsley Coman went to Roma for 41 million that is also a big transfer Werner went to Sevilla let's see Jesse Lingard was sold to Wolfsburg I just can't see that transfer happening in real life Dortmund bought well and Rabiot went to Leverkusen oh damn it I wanted to sign Rabiot on a pre-contract but I guess Paris Saint-Germain cashed in on him and Bastos went to Arsenal so interestingly Arsenal now have Lacazette, Aubameyang and Bas Dost and Chelsea signed a very very strong backup goalkeeper Ruffier he is 84 rated as you can see he cost 27 million and uh, Javi Martinez went to Man City Mandzukic went to Paris Saint-Germain Rashford went to Real Madrid some crazy transfers Jack Potland went to Napoli Jamie Vardy what are you doing went to Juventus and Christian Pavon went I think that's uh, from Boca Juniors I'm not sure uh, I don't think he has the license for that let's actually scout Christian Pavon I want to see what his rating is so there are some very very interesting tasty signings Ben Yedder went to Bournemouth Bournemouth already had quite a few strikers so it will be very interesting how, how they will cope and Zivkovic went to Tottenham so Tottenham um, you know they bought well but they also sold Lamela and Davis went to Man City so those are interesting transfers Bellerin was sold to Dortmund Eric Dyer went to Burnley I, what is that? I mean I know Eric Dyer is not a young player well he's only 24 why on earth would he go to Burnley? that's, that's just shocking to me but I think the most uh, shocking transfer is that Brighton managed to pick up Paris Saint-Germain goalkeeper Arelo Areola who didn't want to stay as a second choice goalkeeper behind Buffon I guess so Brighton now has a very very good goalkeeper and also David Luiz went to Monaco from Chelsea these are crazy crazy transfers I really hope that you guys enjoyed this Liverpool carrier mode episode if you did a like is always appreciated thanks for watching see you later guys see you later.